Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today saw the release of one of the most highly anticipated and waited for issues of the last three years for fans of this series. That's right, I just got done reading it. Today I'm bringing you my honest review of... Saga issue number 55. This is one of the most fan favorite series from Image Comics over the last decade or so. It started way back in 2013, but it's been about three years since an issue released. I just got done reading the Saga Compendium, which I spent the last month reading every single issue that came out before this one. All 54 issues are collected in this first compendium, and it was all in preparation to get this brand new issue and start getting it monthly as the new issues actually come out. For all of you guys who have uh, been reading this series as the issues actually come out, you might have had a little bit more of a different perspective than I did when I actually read this issue. So keep that in mind as I go through my review. Our opinions might differ a little bit depending on uh, which details I remember and whatnot from the previous volume that a lot of you guys who haven't read it in three years might not have remembered quite as clearly. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Don't worry, no spoilers in this video. If you want to get the issue, I definitely recommend it. Right off the bat, I'll say that it was really good, but no spoilers. You don't have to be worried about that. This issue is written by Brian K. Vaughn, as usual, with art by Fiona Staples, as usual. Writing, really top-notch. The artwork, as well, was really good. Super vibrant colors. Fiona Staples does uh, the colors herself, as well, and inks and everything. I can't get too far into the actual plot of this issue um, to avoid spoilers, but it is set three years after the previous issue of Saga, which I think is kind of funny. It Was that, like, intentional to replicate how long people had to wait in real life? Um, but, of course, Saga, just as a whole, uh, is mostly focusing on on this kid Hazel that we see on the cover here. Hazel is a crossbreed and her parents um, are from uh, two different warring factions, these two warring planets. There's Wreath, which is where the horned people live, and Landfall is the planet where people's wings grow on their backs. So Hazel, of course, has both of those traits because her parents, Marco and Alana, had uh, had her. So they've basically been like rebels. They've been one of the most hunted uh, groups of people in the galaxy as they've come across more and more different characters uh, across the entire 55 issues now of Saga. There's been mercenaries that have hunted them down, and a whole lot more that's come together. The series is published in a pretty interesting format also. It's like every 18 issues they do a big time jump, there's a new status quo with the characters and everything. So this is definitely starting a new era for Saga. There's some characters that are missing in here where we don't even know why they're missing. There's new ones added that we don't have any backstory behind, like this guy on the cover here. Um, I think his name was like Bombadier? Bomb I'm forgetting his name. It's some sort of name like that, Bomba something. Uh, he, we don't know why he's with the crew. We don't know what his story was, how he's uh, come to live with Alana and uh, Hazel now. But there's definitely a brand new cast that's going to be incorporated into the series moving on. We see some old faces, some old reunions that I was really happy to see, and overall a really good issue. The artwork by Fiona Staples was definitely the highlight. I think that she has definitely improved. As far as I know, though, she hasn't been doing anything in these three years waiting. I guess maybe they're making enough money to let that go. Uh, they've made like enough off of this series to continue that way. One thing I will say, this book costed $3, and it's 40 pages. It's a double-sized issue. From any other publisher like Marvel or DC, you would have to pay 6 bucks for a double-sized issue like this one. But Image, um, of course, the creators behind this, know that they're going to make enough money from it since it's such a popular series that they don't have to charge that much, and I really appreciate that. If I had to make one complaint, it would be that there were just so many things that weren't really explained. We did get a couple things confirmed that were kind of up in the air at the end of the last issue, which I'm sure a lot of you guys were just... Uh, on the edge of your seats for if you were waiting the full three years. Um, but we also get a lot of new characters introduced, like I said, and some new concepts. Just the idea of where the whole cast and crew are at this point um, in the comic is completely introduced in this issue, and we don't really have much of an idea where they're going to be headed with it, but we do have a cliffhanger that'll set up the next issue. They're basically just going around to different planets. They've got a new initiative. They're selling some sort of product. you got to read it for yourself to find out exactly what that entails. But yeah, overall, this next issue for this brand new, um, you know, second half of the series, as they're calling it, was really good. I guess they'll go up to about 108 issues in total if everything works out. That's what Brian K. Vaughn said in the back with the letter and everything. So we've still got many years of this book to go. It's kind of sad to know that it is going to end at one point, but right now I'm feeling fine about it because we got like 55 more issues of this comic that are going to be published, I guess 54 more, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. If you guys have been getting Saga, definitely let me know down in the comment section below how it was for you to wait for 
three years if you uh, originally read it, or if you've been enjoying reading the compendium or whatever, if you're planning on hopping on board, let me know all that down in the comments. As for the rating for this issue though, I always give you guys something out of 10 to end the videos for these single issue reviews. For this one, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. It was just a tiny bit disappointing because there wasn't too much that happened. I guess it was a pretty eventful issue, but we did get a lot of things still left unexplained. And I guess maybe I'm just too used to reading it in compendium form where I could read so many issues in a row. It might be that it's pretty normal for this series to have some mysterious stuff going on in one issue that explained in the next. So I'm, so I'm expecting a little bit more explanation in the next issue and we'll see how that leads into everything. We'll probably get a little bit more of the time gap filled in, more explanation for how the new characters were added, the old characters left, and everything else that we need to know. Overall, I really recommend Saga number 55. Head down to your LCS and pick it up. So if you got some good information from this video, or if you enjoyed it at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also hit the notifications bell, just sitting right next to it, if you want to be notified every single time I post a new video if you don't want to miss any. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.